say that if I may take emotional intelligence to workplaces for training, the secretary will look at it and may not be able to connect how emotions can help you. Mm. Now, the first thing is that they need training. It's high time companies invest in training these people. Because, you know, emotions are contagious. That means it can be transferred easily. Mm -hmm. So people that have problems can easily transfer it to other people that are scamming. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, I use basic economics to tell people about this, that we have the bedding, the resting place of a tax. Now, when a tax is imposed, based on the, how do you call it, the, the, the elasticity of demand facing you, mm -hmm. you may bear the bigger price or the less. For instance, a petrol mm. increase. Me and you may have no option. Mm -hmm. So the petrol seller or the share company will put more on that. We may not be able to run. Right. But when you increase other products, we may be able to run. So there's an indication that when we're not able to train these people, they are likely to transfer whatever they are experiencing to other people. So awareness and training. And training. I've got very, Shaibu very from Accra. Let's talk to Shaibu. Good afternoon, Shaibu. Sorry for keeping you. Welcome to Masterclass. Yeah, good afternoon. Talk to me, Shaibu. Yes, please. Uh, I, I, I hope you are discussing about the emotional intelligence. That's mm. correct, Shaibu. Yes, please. I want to find out uh, what about somebody who works in an organization mm. and then that person is managing the emotional intelligence of their colleague. Mm -hmm. Maybe some one or two people are abusing him. He tries to manage them and some other to use the opportunity, maybe insult him and mm. other things. Mm. So mm. when he's managing them, I mean, uh, Wow, that 30% react to that. React, right, right. Shaibu, thank you so much. So Shaibu wants to know, and, and there's a question I was going to ask also. Mm. You, we can never master our own emotions completely. Mm. So how do you manage mm. other people, especially when you're a manager, you're a leader at work, and you're managing other people Good. who have their own portions of packages of emotional intelligence? Good. How do you handle it? Good. Now, the one thing I said is that emotions are good. And when you are able to, when you see somebody that is angry, mm -hmm. right. Right, uh -huh. so first understand, there might be a cause. What is the cause for this? Yeah. People don't put up behavior for no reasons. So the causes must be what? Must be fine. Now, when you're able to find a cause, then what is going to happen is that when you empathize, people open up for collaboration. I don't know whether I'm, I'm making... Yes, yeah, so Shaibu, what we're saying is that when people react badly to you Good. as a leader, Good. and they, ins I think your words were, insult you, Good. as a manager, sometimes now. step back, Good. because they don't insult you every day, do that they? Is. But on that particular day or mm. in that particular week, mm. maybe they just lost somebody, mm. maybe something happened to them at work, mm. maybe, so, you know, they're mm. dealing with something. So as Good. a manager, you be the mature one, you mm. have the bigger heart, mm. and then you step back Good. and uh, try and be a better person. Yes. There was Godson who said mm. he has anger, Good um, temper issues. issues, and sometimes it results in, in behavior. Lot, yeah, what what well. does he do now? What what he has to do is that so far as he has identified that he has an anger issue, mm. the problem is almost half or fifty percent solved. Solve. So what you then have to do is that what do you need to do when you see you are angry? Mm. There are simple basic techniques, right? Sometimes you may have to hold whatever you want to say at that moment. I tell you we, something we funny. call it yeah. uh, impulse management. Precisely. Ability to manage your impulse or delay your decision for a split of a second mm -hmm. and you see the difference you made. Sometimes something happens, you want to say something. When you delay more, if that word has come out, you have regretted for mm -hmm. such a long time. Mm -hmm. So the indication is that somebody that is doing something wrong to you, we need to treat those people as blind people. They may not know what actually they are doing to you until you have enough time for them and let them know the implications of what they are doing mm -hmm. on you. So he needs to calm down. You get him up. But he also needs Take to a deep, breath. deep breath. He needs to empathize with people. That is, you know that whatever somebody is doing, something might have triggered that. Mm. So you need to have time to find out what is really happening. For all you know, that anger is not directed at you. For instance, a child may go out to play. And when they lose the match, he comes home and doesn't greet the father. Then the father goes, who are you? My, I couldn't have done this in those days. <laughs> you, you, you get to my point. It's not even about you. It's, it's not, not about, about you. Game. Yes. He just lost his game. Yeah, that is it. So most of the time, we don't find out really what is happening. But we look at the end product mm. and we think everything is wrong. But so he is, needs to calm down, like walk away, take a deep breath. Yeah. Now that he knows, it means he must be able to what, do one or two of these things to 
to manage the situation. It's very, very but important. Honestly, with what you are saying, mm. it means that if we all understand it like this, mm. then the world will be a very... That is it. The, uh, but, uh, the, you know, Denmark, Norway, mm. uh, those places, they teach emotional intelligence. They teach collaboration. In one of the weeks in the school, right, they teach empathy. Now, what they will do is that all the children will come with the problems of the week. And the teacher is involved, listening, not ready to speak. There's a difference between listening and getting ready to speak. When people are listening, when we move into the other areas... I think we need to do a whole session on listening. <laughs> I've got Ken from Legon. Ken says, hi, Master Class. Please, what do you do when you're in partnership with others in a business? Mm. They are not so bothered about the detail and care of the equipment. Mm. You see a problem impending from the way they handle the equipment. Mm. You talk to them and it's like, why are you telling them what to do? Mm. So I now don't talk mm. and the problems come and the company money has to be used mm. in repairing the damage. Mm. How